Hey guys, uh, Ryan Diamond here. Um, you might remember me from uh, my video uh, on YouTube, uh, Ryan's Inspiration, um, which I did, I, I want to say it was five months back, I forget which, but um, now has nine, uh, somewhere between 90 and 92 views, something like that, I forget exactly how many. Um, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about uh, what made me want to make that video, um, what inspired me to uh, do boxing, stuff like that. Um, I'm just gonna t like put into like a little bit of uh, details and stuff like that for you. Um, of you know, just so you get a better understanding, you get to kind of know me a little bit better as far as like why I did it and so on and so forth. So, um, uh, actually, it all took place uh, last year. I was um, being held back in ninth grade. Actually, my dad helped me uh, help back, and um, I was going through a lot at the time. Uh, me and my mom, we were our relationship, our mother and son relationship was uh, was uh, not doing too well. Um, and actually, still wasn't doing too well. Actually, um, I was going through a lot at the time. I uh, was uh, at the point where I was so far into uh, depression. I had thoughts of um, uh, drugs and alcohol use, which I didn't. But uh, I was at that point, and I felt like I didn't care anymore. I felt like I uh, just didn't. I was at the point where I just pushing so many people away from me, and um, such as like friends, uh, most of my family, including uh, my little sis my little ten year old sister Chloe. Um, and the thing is, well, with me and my sister Chloe, I mean, she's really close, so she needs her brother. Um, but anyhow, um, I remember uh, I uh, I transferred back to Newport last year after um, my mom had taken me from uh, my uh, dad and my sister. I mean, what I meant to say was, um, sorry about that, um, my mom had transferred both me and my sister back to Newport after taking us from our dad, um, I was at the point where I just wanted to give up in life, um, uh, not suicidally, or like mentally or anything like that, but, um, just, I was pretty depressed, and, um, I remember, uh, um, just being depressed every day, just felt so miserable with myself felt uh miserable around others i just I, it just it really got to me and the thing is what my problem was last year was um i was letting depression control me and actually i just thought of this yesterday um you know with most with most people that um are bipolar um they ha or even you know mental illness um i think the thing is that they need to know is that um uh, when it comes to uh, both that, uh, they need to uh, think the question. Uh, um, well, and actually, I had just thought of this yesterday. Uh, uh, am I going to let, um, how do I want to say this? Am I going to let depression control me, or am I going to control um, depression? So there's there's one thing to keep in mind if you're one of those people, or even, I mean, because the thing is, even, even my dad, uh, deals with that um he actually he has mental illness um he uh he um actually um ended up in holy spirit hospital a couple times uh when i was little and um stuff like that and um you know that that was kind of a hard hit for me too as well as uh um some stuff i've been through to the past couple years uh 10 now, or yeah 10 from yeah for the past 10 years, sorry, um, now 11, and, um, but anyways, I remember, uh, just giving up in school, my grades were low, um, I was an IEP student, special, uh, ed class, and, um, because Newport wasn't really doing their job to uh, teach me and stuff like that, and, um, I remember, uh, and, uh, my special ed class, there was not that I have anything against these people, but, um, there was Down syndrome students, and it was just, to me, it was just, it was frustrating to me. It was very, um, it made me angry. It made me just feel like, you know, whoever would find out in the, in my school, you know, they'd tease me, and that was one of my biggest fears. Um, so I remember um, I made, uh, I remember the last negative thing that went through my mind, and um, so I'm sitting in class one day, and the first negative thing came to my mind, and I was just like, or the last negative thing came to my mind, and all of a sudden I'm just like, that's enough, enough's enough. And that was the last straw for me, and I said, okay, take a look. 
I told myself to, to take a look at myself. And um, I said, Ryan, take a good look at yourself. Look at who you're becoming. This isn't who you are. Um, um, you've never given up this easily before within the past 10 years, now 11. Um, you are doing this and this, and it's affecting this and this person. And um, and look how it's affecting your life. If you if you let it, uh, depression take control of you, it's going to take control of you the rest of your life and just make you miserable. And I said to myself, I have two choices. One, I can keep, um, and things I've always taken the hard hits through life, no matter what it was, to, from parents' divorce to where I'm, where I am, where I was then in my life. And so I said to myself, I have two choices. One, to um, continue the attitude with negativity and stuff like that and uh, push everybody away in my life, friends, family, and so on and so forth. And um, I can eventually get to the point of dropping out of school, uh, point of drug and alcohol use, and end up in regret the rest of my life. Saying, And what I mean by that is by saying, like, oh, I wish I would have kept going and I uh, did the right thing. And, and you know what I mean, so on and so forth with that. And my second choice was, or I can get back up, brush the door, uh, yeah, sorry, <laughs> can't even talk, um, brush the dirt off, um, keep going in life, or keep going on in life, taking the hard hits, the knockdowns, so on and so forth, because, I mean, at the time, I was, I took the most devastating, uh, knockdown of my life, um, and, um, so, so anyways, um, I said to myself, or I can, yeah, get up, uh, keep taking the hard hits, get my grades back up, fix things between me and my friends and family, especially my little sister, because my sister needs her brother, okay. and, um, so on and so forth, so, um, I made the right choice, I, uh, from now on, I, uh, decided I needed a hobby, and at the time, I needed to set my emotions beside, or yeah, aside at the moment, only because, um, if I was gonna let my emotions get in the way, that, that would have just held me back, and I wouldn't have been able to focus on what was important at the time, so I had to kind of set my emotions to the side, and, um, it helped me, I mean, because when I went back to caring about my emotions a little bit more, and stuff like that, I said, okay, well, I'm feeling this way, how do I deal with this? So, and that's when boxing comes into play. Um, I remember watching the Rocky movies one to six and, um, I was telling myself, you know, I was just thinking, you know, Sylvester Stallone's character, Rocky Bobo is just, he's, he's really inspirational. Rocky is just with, with uh, all the fights he fought in one to six. Um, and he kept going that extra round that just, that really encouraged me to be able to take the hard hits, especially that hit that I was taking at the time. And I decided that, Boxing was the path that I needed to take, so I got into that. Um, my 16th birthday was coming around. I um, I uh, asked my dad for a pair of boxing gloves. He uh, got me a pair of boxing gloves. I started my training. Um, I wrote a story called, I, yeah, I then wrote a story called uh, um, My Life Story. I'm actually, I need a new title for it, but I haven't decided on it yet. Um, so I started writing my life story down, and I'm just thinking, you know what, um, as I'm writing the story, I'm thinking, you know what, it's amazing how many hard hits I've taken throughout the past couple of years, now 11, because, I mean, most people like me, um, usually they're doing drugs, alcohol, or even illegal drugs, um, and most people, you know, can't really take the hard hits like I do, um, most people just don't care, they don't care about school or anything, and they just practically just they don't care at all um but me i'm not one of those I, I mean i was raised to always try and take the hard heads always to believe in myself and um so on and so forth so um you know i started getting a little emotional while writing my uh, story and um there's a lot of times where i would have flashbacks and stuff like that and um so it, it was a lot of fun writing the story um I'm actually, once I finish it here with editing it and stuff, I'm actually going to put it uh, out online for people to uh, get and stuff like that. Um, I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work, but I'm going to find a way. But anyway, so aside from the story, I, I decided to become an inspirational speaker and uh, go high school to high school. My goal is actually my second goal is to become an inspirational speaker, what I just said. And um, my, my um, goal for that is to... Someday go cross country, state to state, high school to high school, uh, telling teens about my story, encouraging them to take the right uh, um, path, 
and you know do something they love just just to uh, get their pro problems uh, just just to distract them from their problems and you know just to help them and stuff like that because I know my path of boxing it's helped me it's helped me to learn um, the right path as far as taking the hard hits in life and keep go and keep moving forward um, it's helped me to become a better person it's helped me to realize you know um, you know, just because the stuff I went through doesn't mean there are other people not out there going through the same thing. I mean, because, I mean, odds are there are people going out, or people out there that are going through the same thing as I am, you know, or who knows, it's even different, or it, it's probably different for them, too. And stuff like that. So that was, uh, that, that's helped me a lot. Boxing's really changed me. Um, but... Yeah, I think out of anything I've ever gone through, really, that was one of the most devastating things I went through. Um, I mean, because I went through uh, parents' divorce, I went through a uh, transfer through transferring schools, which was really rough on me. I mean, as far as like, I mean, because the other thing is, I'm an IEP student. Um, found out at the age of fifteen in ninth grade, my freshman year, um, from a psychiatrist that I had. NLD, which is abbreviated for nonverbal disability disorder. Um, a little bit about that is I Wikipedia it on Google. It's um, which means it, yeah, it. Sorry, I can't even talk. Um, it basically is. Uh, I can't learn fast enough. It's I I I, I learn slower is what I'm trying to say. Um, messes with my eye coordination, my memory. Um, but thing about that is I try not to let that get to me as much that's one part of my depression that really eats me a lot because I mean I think of how much it's affected me in life um, I try not to let that get to me that's why half the time I'm usually um, in the back uh, just fiddling around with my boxing gloves you know punching stuff like that doing what I do best and uh, that is boxing um, I love the box um, and stuff like that but Anyways, you know, I, I look back at last year and I think, you know what, I'm gl if I can make that same decision I made last year, I would definitely do it. And I would, and what I would encourage you guys, whoever is watching this video, you know, don't don't throw your life away like I almost did. Don't do that. That is, I mean, that's that's definitely not who you are. I mean, I probably I don't know you pro probably as well, but I I'd, I'd say just you know do the right thing. Just do do. Do what you think is right. Do what do what you think is right, and stuff like that. And I mean, you know, just don't let depression get to you. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, worst thing you can do is let depression control you. Let it control your whole life, such as pushing people away, like I was saying earlier. And um, I mean, that's one of the things I've learned um, over the past year with depression is how it controls you, uh, how it controls your emotions, so on and so forth, and stuff like that. But um, if you haven't already seen my video, um, it is uh, called Rants Inspiration. has around 90 views. Um, uh, so just check it out. Uh, see what you think. Comment, subscribe down below on it. And uh, um, so yeah, I just that that's really uh, that's really it. I mean, I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about uh, uh, what made me do the video. Um, what made me uh, considered to do boxing, which I'm doing great with. Um, I, of course, I haven't found a boxing gym yet. Um, I'm still trying to. Um, but anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, so, yeah, just comment down below, subscribe. You guys know what to do, and I guess I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye.